Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're returning very, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So you can tell by the title of the video, we are going to be testing out some Glamnetic lashes. This is my very first time trying some magnetic lashes, so I'm actually pretty excited. I want to see if these are easier to put on than your regular lash. I've definitely been very interested in trying magnetic lashes for a while. So when Glamnetic contacted me, asked if they can send some beautiful lashes over my way i said yes i would love to so why don't i go ahead and get you on in closer so we can get these on my eyes all right guys so they did send four lash styles my way here is one of the more like super out there this is in the style ego so these are definitely like dramatic and bold these are more on the natural side this one is in lullaby so these are nice i feel like i will well they look a little bit short but we'll see how they look and i was so excited to see that they also have half lashes isn't that awesome this one is in princess i love half lashes and finally this one is in queen I love the packaging. I think it is so cute. I love the pink. The aesthetics of the brand itself is actually really pretty. And the boxes definitely feel very heavy duty and sturdy. They also sent over a little lash grab applicator and a Glabnetic eyeliner. I went ahead and grabbed it in the shade brown because I don't have brown liquid liners and I've been meaning to get one so I just decided to get the brown one. So I'm going to bring you in a tiny bit closer so that you can watch me apply the eyeliner and then we'll see just how easy these are to put on. All right so this is what the eyeliner looks like and I do believe it's a felt tip. That's what it looks like. So it doesn't look super brown. It looks like a dark brown. Okay, let's get this on my eyeball. All right, so that was fairly easy. The only thing is that since it is a felt tip, I did feel like it was drying down when I was trying to do the wing. So that is definitely a, a con. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually going to put on two different lashes. I think I'll do Lullaby on this side just so we could see the full lash. And then I'll do one of the half lashes in Princess on this side. And then once I'm done, uh, I will go ahead and decide which one I want to put on and come back with them on and the full eye look. Okay, so these have anchors in them. So you need to make sure and take the anchors off before you put the lash. I don't know if you can see the anchors. And you literally take the little anchor off from the lash, which is right on the two corners. The other one is on this side. So this is in the lullaby, which looks like that very natural. They look a little short, so I might not wear these today. And let's see. Okay, and that's it. And they are on. That was easy. Easy peasy. So they're actually a really good length, which is nice, but you can cut them if you need to. All right, okay. 
Okay, so now let's go in to the half lash. All right, now I'm going to put on the half lash and Princess is the name of this style. These don't have any anchors. And in case you ever wonder, like, can you see the little magnets in there? That's what it looks like. Okay, so now let's put on this half lash and see how this goes. Oh yeah, easy peasy too. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, these are really, oh, I think I like these better. <laughs> Ooh, gorgeous. Oh, these are very pretty. Do you see that? Okay, all right. Let me go ahead and um, finish up my eyes and then we'll come back and talk real quick about these lashes and if they passed the test or not. All right guys, so I have the Style Queen, which is one of the half lashes on right now, and I think they look absolutely gorgeous. These are definitely easy to put on and take off. I did try using this little um, lash applicator, but because of the magnets in the eyeliner and on the lashes, it was a little hard because this was sticking to the lash. So I think you're better off either using your fingers or like a regular tweezer, which is what I normally do. All right, let me zoom out so we could talk real quick and end this review. All right, guys. So as you saw in the small little clips, I did go ahead and show you the other two styles that I did not apply during the demo. They were easy to take off and put back on. The only issue is that because this is a felt tip liner, it did start to dry down a little bit when I had to retouch the eyeliner. And on one or two of the lashes when I took it off, it did take some of the eyeliner with it. So that's why I had to touch up. So I would definitely advise that once you lay these down, keep them on there, don't take them off. It's hard to layer the eyeliner and I feel it's because of the formula and the magnetic magic in there. Okay, so Glamnetic is actually owned. The CEO of the company is Anne McFerrin. She is an Asian American individual. So um, it's a woman owned company, which is great. We love to hear that. I believe she went to UCLA, at least when I went to go um, find out a little bit about the CEO of the company and I do believe that Glamnetic is a very successful company. I definitely do see it in a lot of the videos that I watch here on YouTube that are makeup reviews. A lot of people really love her products. I do enjoy the packaging. I think the packaging is beautiful, super easy to use. So many different styles like you've got dramatic ones. Which one is this one? Ego. Ego has actually purple in it. I know I picked that one. I thought it was cool and they got the natural one like the lullaby which which I did enjoy, but I would probably use those on more natural days. So they definitely have variety. So now for some small cons, the felt tip liner dries down uh, kind of quick. And I think when I use these magnetic lashes, what I would do is do my liner ahead of time and then just use that on my regular liner on top, right where the lash is going to go. That way I can preserve the eyeliner and not, I mean, I don't really need to create create a wing with the magnetic eyeliner because the lash is not gonna go there, you know? So that's just something that I would personally do to conserve some of the eyeliner and so that you don't have to replace it as quickly. But another thing is that um, you do feel the magnets a little bit. So they do feel a tiny bit heavier than your normal lash, but they are still very comfortable. I don't feel them moving at all. 
all. Lastly, the price. So I was on the Glamnetic website and it looks like the most expensive thing is the liners. They do have liquid liners though. They have liquid liners and I believe they retail for uh, between $37 and $40 or $45. The lashes are also a tiny bit more expensive. They're about $30. I mean, I don't think I own any lashes that cost $30, but these should last you for a good while. I definitely feel with normal lashes, the wear and tear comes from the glue because it's, you have to pull them off. I mean, unless you use like the micellar or water or whatnot. I do feel like a lot of the wear and tear is from the actual glue. Well, since you're not putting any glue or anything on these lashes, I definitely do feel like when you invest on some of these lashes, Lashes, they're going to last you quite a bit. It sucks that the price is a tiny bit more expensive, but in the long run, I feel like it pays off. I hope that makes sense. All right, guys. So the question is, would I recommend Glabnetic lashes? Yes, I definitely would recommend Glabnetic lashes. I used to have lash extensions. I had lash extensions for about two and a half, almost three years. Oh my goodness. First of all, the maintenance is expensive. Every single time I went in, it was about 60, I think, or $70 plus tip. And I would go every three weeks. That adds up very quick. <laughs> so that already, just the maintenance is a pair of lashes and your eyeliner crazy to the lash extensions really damage your lashes uh, i until now i'm barely feeling like my lashes are back normal and it's been about three years since i last had extensions i also would recommend the glamnetic lashes because even regular strip lashes damage your lashes you are applying glue and the glue even if you just do it like if it was eyeliner it still gets on your actual lashes sometimes it's hard to take off sometimes Sometimes you wash your face and you still have a residue of that glue so i don't know if you guys are like me but i am a picker and i feel like i have something on my lashes i pick at it and i have definitely pulled out my fair share of lashes because of these strip lashes that i apply which is the reason why i haven't really been using too many lashes in my videos i've been kind of trying to embrace my natural lashes but i do enjoy lashes i feel like sometimes they're very needed when you want a look to just look more glam lashes are definitely a good bonus for those eye looks so these are definitely a perfect alternative to not damage your natural lashes hi guys editing mary here i totally forgot to mention that glamnetic was so kind to also send over some press on nails i don't use acrylic nails because i do crossfit and it is um exercise that involves a barbell and some gymnastic movements so you know acrylic nails don't really go too well with that um, at least the times that i have tried it it just didn't work out well so press on nails is definitely something great to have especially for special occasions and I do have other pairs from other brands, but I'm excited to try these out from Glamnetic. I did not get to demo these in this video, but I will be doing a short video that I will more than likely post on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me. I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. Make sure to go follow me so you can see if these are easy or not to put on. Okay, let's go back to the Glamnetic Lash video now just because these were sent my way as a gift it does not mean that i'm going to steer you the wrong way or that i'm going to give them a good review or a great review and tell you you need these no i will always give you guys the honest truth because the most important thing to me and my channel is you guys and i would hate to recommend something you guys don't like or enjoy or feel like you wasted your money on i would definitely recommend instead of getting a fill tip liner to get a liquid liner i did check and they do offer liquid liners as well. I just feel like this is going to dry fairly quickly um, and doesn't layer well. And I definitely feel like the liquid liner will do a much better 
job. As far as the lashes, uh, all of the styles that I tried today are absolutely beautiful. They looked gorgeous. I was not disappointed in any of them. And they have the half lashes, which I have been loving lately. Half lashes, they're my jam right now. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys. And I hope you enjoyed me testing out these Glamnetic lashes. All right, guys, before I end this video, I did want to let you guys know that not only were they so kind and so nice by sending these products my way, they were also super nice enough to provide me with a code that will give you 15% off. The code is Mary Vera, and this code is going to be active for two months. So if any of these styles that I tried on today you are interested in, I will link them down below and you can use the code. So that concludes this Glamnetic Magnetic Lash try on and review. With that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video. Bye.